So winter is upon us and you might be asking yourself, how do I keep my pipes from freezing? Well, we're gonna go over a few tips for you right now. Let's talk about it. First thing I wanna talk about is, is your house properly heated? You should really check out your HVAC system. Make sure that your furnace is running properly and that it's sized properly for your home. And then you need to make sure that the registers and your cold air returns are working efficiently also so that that heat is getting distributed throughout your house. You wanna pay a special attention to your bathrooms and your kitchen when you're talking about frozen pipes. So now that we have your house properly heated, you have to seal in that heat. So you want to properly insulate your house and make sure that you're establishing that building envelope. This is why we use foam because it both insulates and helps establish that building envelope because air does not pass through the foam insulation. So whether you're talking about insulating exterior walls, which of course our plumbing can run through, your crawl space, which probably has a lot of your plumbing in it, and potentially attic spaces, depending on your home, you you may have water lines through your attic. But wherever those are, you wanna make sure those areas are properly insulated and they are air sealed. So the last thing I wanna talk about is a fail safe. Okay, this is what you do when the temperature gets really cold. I mean, we're talking zero or below. And that is put all of your faucets on a drip. Okay, so what that does essentially is you're opening your faucets just enough so that water continues to flow through. And that flow of water can help prevent freezing even at super cold temperatures. Now it's important to know this fail safe tip because even if you have great insulation, even if you have an efficient furnace that's distributing heat throughout the house, when temperatures get zero or below, there is still a chance that those pipes can freeze. There's just so much of a difference from the inside to the house to the outside of a house. So keep in mind, when it gets really cold out, it's not a bad idea just to leave those faucets on a drip for a night or two. Yes, you're gonna use extra water, and yes, that does cost a little bit of money. In my opinion, it's worth it because that that's way less money than you would spend on having a plumber out to tear open a wall, replace a section of plumbing and that sort of thing. And of course, obviously the mess of having to go through that process. So keep in mind, if you live in an area where it gets that cold, I'm talking zero or colder, you might wanna practice that. If it gets that cold, put those faucets on a drip. It's not a bad habit to have and it can help prevent something. So I hope this helps prevent you from having to deal with any frozen pipes this winter. If you wanna learn more about this or anything building science related, check out the link in our description below. Go to our learning center. We have all types of videos, guides and articles, everything you need to know to make your home more energy efficient. This is the Professor of Foam reminding you that building is a science.